Ever since the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi and the solo of Star Wars Story box office results, Disney has been rethinking their strategy when it comes to the marketing of Star Wars Episode 9. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of fans out there around the world, including myself, are very eager to finally seeing our first set of footage of the final installment of the Skywalker Saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams, also Chris Terrio, who helped out with this script itself, and a lot of people just really want to get an idea of the overall tone of the movie and what it really has to offer for the fans. And we do know that J.J. Abrams will be bringing in a lot of prequel trilogy content as well. Now, looking at the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer specifically, this is something that a lot of fans are very excited about. We do know that John Williams will actually begin doing a lot of work on a specific track by this December, specifically for the trailer slash teaser that will be an exclusive only for that and won't be in the actual movie at all. But looking past everything here, a lot of people have been really wondering about the release date of the official trailer of Star Wars Episode 9, and we do know that Episode 9 by Disney, they're rethinking their strategy when it comes to this movie. Now, Disney is apparently reworking its marketing style for Star Wars episode 9 and won't make the same mistakes as Solo a Star Wars story. To them, Solo failed due to a frequency issue or fatigue. They initially were planning on releasing a teaser for the Super Bowl, which falls on February 3rd, followed by a full trailer during Star Wars Celebration, which starts April 11th. Now Disney is planning on not having anything at all showed during the Super Bowl and to save room for Avengers 4, which releases on May 3rd, and instead release a full-fledged trailer right off the bat on April 11th. They are aiming at releasing only two very important trailers for Episode 9. However, if this is the case, fans would have to wait till April 11th to see any footage for Episode 9, followed by a second trailer, most likely in the fall around October. Essentially, Disney wants to skip right to a full trailer rather than having a short teaser first, like how they did with Solo A Star Wars Story. And with Episode 9, they plan to change the game when it comes to its marketing style, in comparison to both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. And prior to any footage for this film, they will be releasing a lot of promo art and different images in order to build up hype to finally seeing our first set of footage of the movie. Now, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but I feel that it's best to release any kind of footage for Star Wars Episode 9 during the Super Bowl of 2019 in order to really get a sense of what the fans think about the overall tone of the movie and see how they react to that and then take it from there. Now, this is all due in part, apparently, in order to save space for Avengers 4, and I can totally understand Disney. I mean, if you look at Avengers Infinity War, you know, that was such a successful film on all fronts when it comes to how the fans actually like the movie, how much money it made for Disney, and just, you know, how it went all around. I mean, Avengers Infinity War is a very successful film. It made a load of money, a lot of people love the film, and they want more. So Avengers 4, they're really trying to focus on that for the Super Bowl of 2019, since that movie's going to be releasing in early May of next year. Makes sense. Now, look Looking at Star Wars Episode 9, what do I think that they would do at the Super Bowl if they're not going to show a teaser slash trailer after all? I think that we could absolutely be getting a title reveal with just the official logo of the next Star Wars movie at the Super Bowl. That's what I believe they're going to do. Because we do know that February 3rd is right around the same exact time in which they will end filming for this movie, and they're not going to release that title until they are done filming. So that also falls directly in line. So that's my prediction. All right, if they're not going to show any teasers or trailers at the Super Bowl, they are most definitely going to show the title reveal at the Super Bowl itself. But looking past everything, here. The fact that they're really trying to change up their marketing style and only have two major trailers for Episode 9, as opposed to building it up with a little tiny teaser first, and then a full-fledged trailer, and then a second trailer, like how they did with previous films, now they're just trying to get right in with the full trailer and have all the fans just get really hyped up and excited for the next Star Wars movie, and then release one more trailer in the fall of 2019, just before it's released, 
alongside with a handful of TV spots. And before the first trailer, you know, during April of 2019, they would show a lot of promo art, a lot of images here and there, kind of just building hype up to everything. So I could totally understand, you know, Disney's marketing style here for episode nine. They're not just focusing on Star Wars, but they're also really trying to take care of the final Avengers movie, Avengers 4, of course. It's a very important film. It made a lot of movie, uh, it made a lot of money with Infinity War, and it's going to make a lot more, I believe, with Avengers 4. But anyways, guys, I would really love to hear your input about all of this below in the comments section. You know, do you think it's a mistake if they don't show this trailer during the Super Bowl? Because quite honestly, I feel like that we just need a little snippet of footage very early on in the new year. They kind of did this with The Last Jedi well before we even got the first trailer itself. We got a production teaser trailer with Luke and Rey looking at each other, and that was it. It was like a little 30 second thing. If they really wanted to, they could just do that, but apparently they're not trying to do that at all. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.